The northeast monsoon's smooth, damp ocean atmosphere blows through the rising Sandiao terrain, reaching thousands of meters above sea level. Assailed by the North Snow Mountain Range, the current is temporarily forced into the valley, which magically changes into clouds, making the mountain seem exceedingly high. This is known as the Cha Tian Shan series. In the summer, welcoming the southwestern misty monsoon, still surrounded by clouds and fog, is the Cha Tian Shan Nature Reserve. Situated in the south basin of Taipei, the Cha Tian Shan Nature Reserve is approximately 7,760 hectares, covering eight compartments of Da Shi and 12 compartments of Ulai's Working Circle. The reserve is under the Forestry Bureau's Xinju District Office. Considering both the people's rights to be intimate with nature, as well as to ensure the preservation of the ecosystem within this area. The district office established another buffer zone, the Lala Shan Forest Reserve. Its 75 hectares in 33 compartments is easily accessible. Established here is an ecological education building that demonstrates the ecosystem of Lala Shan Forest Reserve and Cha Tian Shan Nature Reserve. Giving visitors a general understanding of the animals and plants within the area, due to the elevated topography, the rotational trail of about 3,700 meters in length set in the area is open for tourists to have a closer look. At the same time, protecting the cypress plant roots and sprouts from the danger of being trampled. The 22 giant trees on either side of the pathway, with their unique shapes, are aged between 500 and 2,700 years old. With differing postures, they honestly depict the combined traces of nature and man. In the past, Taiwan black bears took habitat within the number five giant trees hole, which was thus given the name the Black Bear's Nest. In number nine, the mother tree has died, whilst the secondary tree continues to grow sturdily upon its mother. This perfectly explains the renewal of the world of nature. Number nine is the only Taiwan yellow cypress among the 22 giant trees. Number 18, found to be Siamese through scientific identification, has won the title of being the biggest and most robust within the area. However, because of a fire that broke out in 1978, it is half wilted, creating an amazingly unique view. Number 21 is covered with a beautiful jacket of Ariastegia perdurans, not allowing anyone to see that it's already 2,700 years old. It is most probably the oldest tree inside the area. Wandering on the rotational trail, the untrimmed leaves sieve bunches of sunlight. The trail areas leading to La La Shan's unique ecosystem have environmental education signs put up to let tourists discover the vitality of nature within the trails. If tourists come and see, one can see tiny insects on the flower petals during blooming time. And sometimes even butterflies come. Beside the rivers, one is able to see dragonflies and damselflies. If one looks closely and carefully, such things are noticeable. 
If one comes during the summer, the sound of bomb crickets can be easily heard. And obviously, this is seen the most often by tourists. We usually suggest that the kids pick them up to play with and have a look. If it happens to be a female insect, we suggest that they are put back again because they will return to the forest and continue breeding. We also observe that during the process of being amazed by the scenery, people should always leave behind that which should remain and take back with them unforgettable memories. Taking back with them what they have seen and learned is one of the most important points we focus on teaching. The natural forest constituted by the towering cypress and other vegetation makes perfect sunshade. And under the conditions of 1500 meters above sea level, with an average temperature of 16 degrees annually, the stroll taken here is comfortable as well as sensational throughout different seasons. The pathway in spring is full of life. The calling of insects and twittering of birds relieves the forbidden frozen forest. Particularly flamboyant are the fresh, delicate mountain sakuras. In summer, Flowers blossom and insects are of the most active. Although there are often thunder showers in the afternoon, it is quite romantic walking on the wide wood planks and looking up at the misty mountain peak. Autumn is topped with red leaves as the Taiwan red maple fruit fully with Samara on the branches. Is it harvest or disconsolate? We welcome all of you to come and experience this harmonious feeling in nature personally. Rain and dew from the early dawn of winter is habitually frost. Occasionally, white snow falls and dyes the earth with excited color for the people of Taiwan who seldom see snowy landscapes. Lalashan Forest Reserve has massive areas of precious cypress forests, dynamic misty cloud scenery, and abundant diverse insects, fish, birds, and mammals. In fact, all this relies on the even larger area of Chatian Shan Nature Reserve behind it that is free from interference. The ridges comprised of continuous mountain ranges intercept the fog brought from the northeast monsoon, and in summer, the southwestern draft forming a noticeable climate characteristic of being heavily fogged and misty all year round, is the main watershed for Dahan River, Nanshu River, and its tributaries. Hence, 
one can find many weather observation station posts within the area's ridges. The purpose being to try and comprehend the relationship between local biology and its environment. And amongst these, those receiving the greatest concern are the Taiwan beaches, situated on narrow ridges in the area. They are the main target for protection, the main reason that the Cha Tian Shan Nature Reserve was established. The Taiwan Beach originally belonged to the temperate region in the Northern Hemisphere, but one is able to see these temperate deciduous plants in Taiwan, even though Taiwan is located in the subtropical region. This special genre of plants was left behind after the Ice Age and is known as the Taiwan Beach. The Taiwan beach is in the southern distribution limit of this type of northern hemisphere temperate plant, one of the rare and valuable plants listed by the Cultural Heritage Preservation Act. The Taiwan beach forest is a seldom seen pure stand in Taiwan. The landscape's varying scenery in the four seasons is clearly noticeable as it changes drastically. In spring, the lonely branches grow new leaves. In summer, a layer of green fog covers the ridges. In autumn, the leaves turn yellow, presenting a wild, colorful autumn view. And in winter, the yellow leaves complete their fall, and the distorted branches that remain are like old, hunched men. Within the unreachable Cha Tian Shan Nature Reserve, there is more natural forest other than the Taiwan Beach, each with different ecosystem value that disallows sabotage from anyone. As a result, people who wish to enter the reserve and take closer looks at the virgin forest at mid-elevation must first submit an application to the district office and should have received permission before entering. The Cha Tian Shan Nature Reserve has four entrances. The Fu Ba Ancient Trail connecting Baling and Fu Shan is the road that is most often chosen. One not only can see the dynamic forest from sea level of 600 meters to 2100 meters, most of all, one can recall the history of civilization that this ancient pathway leads through. The history of the mountain is not only written on the cypresses barks, but also in the name of the place. Passing the Baling Suspension Bridge crossing the Dahan River, one comes to the so-called Giant Tree Area within the heart of the Taya tribe, Baling. Legends say that ancestors of the Taya tribesmen first passed this place and discovered many gigantic cypresses gathered here, and when they returned to their tribe, they orally transmitted Balon Balon the origin of today's Baling. But the footsteps of development have turned the Baling cypresses into orchards of peaches. Thank heavens for the immediate establishment of the reserve, which allowed these thousand-year-old cypresses to survive in this last forest. Once entering the reserve area, the bright hilltops immediately grow together green fir. And cutting through the giant tree area of Cha Tian Shan on foot, a mountain climbing footpath, Fu Ba Ancient Pathway, appears ahead, full of life. The roadside signs state that there are 17 kilometers left to reach Fu Shan. People without permission to enter should turn back. The original marriage pathway that the Taya tribe's ancestors developed through hunting was the connection between Ilan, Ulai, and Taoyuan at the time. 
It was an important road which blends Taya tribal culture in with the lineage of civilization. In 1913, the Japanese military took Baling by force and reconstructed its pathway, setting up four residences as well. After the Japanese left, time and falling leaves concealed once again the ancient pathway, and with the opening of the Northern Cross Island Highway, La La Shan's reputation rose rapidly. The old pathway was also revitalized, becoming one of the most popular hiking routes, known today as the Fuba National Trail. If one returns to saddle between Lalashan and Tamanshan, the forest along the path is filled with phagacea that disallows neglect from anyone. Looking across the mountains at the summit of Lalashan, there is a unique Taiwan beech forest and massive thickets of rhododendron. Thereafter, the pathway continuously descends in the misty forest, giant cypresses are all around. Scenery changes from conifer and broadleaf mixed cypress forest and phagaceal forest to evergreen broadleaf forest. The increasingly louder sounds of the waterfall mean one is slowly leaving the protected area. Finally, what appears before one's eyes is a section of bamboo forest. Bamboo is a traditional material used in Taya architecture and remains important in their lives. A beautiful suspension bridge that crosses over the big Luonan River represents the end of the ancient pathway. Fushan has finally arrived. All the way through, we hear the wind and the breeze echoing in the valley like the ethereality of fog, like the 10 million years that have passed, continuing to nourish the earth. We smell the light aroma that the breeze blows out from the forest, symbolizing the long-lasting absorption of the fog by the cypresses immersed within. We see the sweet cooling rain brought down from the rivulet, the result of cooperation between the calm lonely fog and the old trees. Today, how lucky and fortunate we are to be able to have this precious natural treasure. When we are lucky enough to walk amidst it, like making one's way through all creation, please treat it with gentle care and learn to view from the water's point of view, think from a tree's point of view. And with the feeling Mother Nature has given us, embrace, guard, and cherish this beauty. In return, Mother Earth will also take care of our descendants for generations to come.